Welcome to our rather unusual lane for the evening this evening. My name is Mr Reid, I'm Head of PE at the Willink School and over the next two or three minutes I'm just going to show you a brief presentation, give you some of an idea of the PE that happens at the Willink and some of the questions that are often asked by parents on open evening. Well as I said a big welcome and we're actually a team of eight teachers at the Willink all of our teachers are able to teach a wide range of activities, but each also brings a specialism to the department, which they would share through their lessons and through the extracurricular programme. As I mentioned, my name is Mr Reid, I'm the head of the department, and I'm ably supported by Mr Judd, who is the second in the department, and by Miss Lyons, who acts as the head of girls. We have a further five teachers making up the rest of the team, Mrs Adams, Mr Fitzsimons, Miss Hoskins, Mr Leach, and Mrs Vaughan. And a quick photo of us back from Sports Day 2019 and going left to right, Mr Jubb, Mr Leach, Miss Lyons, Miss Ellams, Miss Hoskins, Mrs Vaughan and myself. Mr Fitzsimons only joined us this year, so he's not on that uh, Sports Day picture, uh, but we're already looking forward to working with him and I'm sure your young people will be as well. So importantly, our Key Stage 3 curriculum. And our Key Stage 3 curriculum will cover a range of sports, well, a wide range of sports actually, but it will also be a good deal of uh, focus on the practical teaching around fitness and health and really understanding why we undertake PE as well as preparing ourselves to improve our skills. The athletics are very wide ranging and change throughout the year. And as you can see there, we're offering in no particular order athletics, badminton, basketball, cricket, cross country, dance, fitness, football, hockey, gymnastics, netball, rounders, rugby, tennis and swimming. All of these would happen at different times of year, depending on season, etc. And they'd also rotate round with students undertaking short blocks. We give plenty of notice on the kind of activities they're going to be doing so that they are well prepared. So just moving on to look at the facilities on site, and these are the ones that are actually based on the school site. So we have a number of outdoor areas, uh, including uh, two netball courts, one with an astro covering and a floodlit court. We share the indoor sports hall with four badminton courts with our leisure centre colleagues. And you can see top right in the picture, we have the small indoor gymnasium, which can use for a variety of reasons, including gymnastics on this occasion. We also have access to the swimming pool uh, and year seven and eight students undertake short blocks of swimming in both years. You can see in the middle picture at the top, one of our staff and one of our students are jumping in with a long jump pit as part of our athletics program. Just across the road from the school, we also have a large area of school fields. And these will cover a lot of activities and you can see just moving around our middle field has a track and these are pictures from sports day same to the top right with students there throwing discus and javelin and then a little shot of the whole of the fields in the winter just very quickly though it's a, a little way off for for uh, young people in year six our key stage four and key science uh, curriculum Again, it's about healthy lifestyles, moving on through key stage three, but also gives an opportunity to undertake examination level. So at GCSE in year 10 and 11, and even onto A level in year 12 and 13. We're very pleased that our year seven, eight, nine curriculums actually help prepare students for those, and that our outcomes are really strong. And in this year with both our GCSE and our A level producing an out red three, showing that they are doing very well. Extracurricular is always something that's asked about and our extracurricular programme, albeit at the moment is rather limited, is generally extremely full and it's something we're really, really proud of. We run clubs to support the learning of all of the lessons that are going on, uh, to give students an extra chance to come along for practice, maybe to hone their skills, also to have extra game time and for enjoyment. The clubs run at different times of year, depending on what the season is and what are the lessons at the time. And it's almost all of the sports that we teach in lessons we're able to offer clubs for, including swimming. We then move into a fixtures programme with a range of sports that are on regular fixtures where students compete in leagues against other schools and some of them in one-off competitions. Again, at the moment, these are slightly suspended, but we hope to be back to them as soon as we are able to. PE kit. A lot of information will come out if you choose the winning school, which we hope you do, obviously, that will tell you. But just to give a brief oversight, our basic kit includes blue skirt or shorts, a navy blue top for the girls, and a navy blue rugby shirt for the boys, and a white polo shirt for the boys for the summer activities and indoor. Long blue socks are required for football, rugby, hockey, and cross country, easier to clean, and they can hold a shin pad, and white socks are worn for all the other activities. A few additions are needed at certain times. Trainers, obviously a lot of the time, 
Uh, shin pads, a gum shield and football boots, swimming kit at different points during the year, again with the notice given before those blocks appear. You can also add school sweatshirts, navy joggy bottoms to make sure that students are warm, although obviously our aim is to keep them active. So just to finish with a few frequently asked questions, uh, will you do all the activities during the year? Yes, you will, but not necessarily in the same order as your friends, as we obviously have to schedule and rotor to make sure we've got plenty of space for everybody. Do girls and boys do the same activities? Uh, this is in almost all cases it's present. We're currently not teaching girls in lessons for rugby and not teaching boys uh, in lessons for netball, uh, but girls are welcome to join the extracurricular rugby and with enough, it would be lovely to see uh, more teams uh, and uh, fixtures. If you're injured and can't take part in a PE lesson, we still consider you to be part of the learning. Obviously, we'd want to talk to you about this, but we're coming in your kit, to adding extra layers and then learning a little bit about the coaching role, which could be invaluable for moving you on and understanding the activities. And the final thing, how do you get involved with the extracurricular activities? Simply speak to your PE teacher. They'll guide you as to where the clubs are, when they're running and where you would need to meet. I hope that was useful to everybody and uh, look forward to seeing you in September.